you have also kind of a certain type of freedom. And that's perhaps what researchers are also kind of looking for is that the, yeah, you come up with an, an idea in the morning and you try it out in the afternoon on an actual drone or a couple of drones. Yeah. That's, that's kind of really, in a, uh, yeah heightens the creativity process. At Bitcrace we have every Friday, we have Fun Fridays. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of a, a day that you just do kind of whatever you want, as long as it's still Bitcrace related, but uh, just kind of to develop your skills or just try something cool out. And then... What was the last thing you did? Last thing is that we got, we got the Steam Deck. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, I saw that. Yeah, and then I, I actually installed the Crazy Flag Player client on there and mm -hmm. I was able to fly. The, uh, yeah, you saw the video in the, 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 the video. flapper. The, there's video the out drone. there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, there's a flapping wing AMV that we got from Flapper Drones. And that actually runs a Crazy Fly Bolt autopilot on there. So I was able to control it from there. Great. Which was really cool. So your platform adapted into a different um, frame type, I guess. It's just like flying differently. Yeah. <laughs> with the same hardware. It's the same hardware. Um, it's actually currently also merged with Master officially, this, this platform. It needed to be able to also uh, support some actuators as well. So not only motors, uh, so it was a little bit more complicated. But it's now, po now in the latest uh, development branch. I found also a really cool, a couple of very nice papers lately about people just, just took off the the motors of the Crazy Fly, mm -hmm. and just added a couple of wings and just made a monocopter out of it. Nice. Yeah, so there was, I think, even one science public or science robotics publication uh, for that. So that was, uh, that was really cool. It's, al <laughs> it's always really cool when you see your things out there being used in different <laughs> ways that you never imagined. Yeah, yeah, I definitely saw that at uh, ICRA, which is the other mm -hmm. big robotics, uh, yeah. robotics conference. That was in Boston this year, right? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Yeah. Yes, Pennsylvania. Yeah. So, I keep and getting things wrong. <laughs> Thank you for correcting me. <laughs> so it was, um, I think, about five, six papers actually did something completely different with the Crazy Fly. Yeah. So, yeah, it's really nice to see that. I guess what I've heard, I've, I've talked to a couple of the, the authors and they said, since our firmware is kind of made for one quadcopter, mm -hmm. for them it was very easy to change. Yeah. It's even being written in C and being in embedded, it was still very easy to kind of adapt it to their use case at that point. What do you think is the most valuable thing about the Crazy Fly platform? I would say it being so small. <laughs> being like just as small? And yeah, and versi versatility, I would versatility. say. Versatility. Yeah. Um, for me, when I was doing my PhD research um, at the TU Delft MAV lab, I first started with a smaller drone that was already part of the lab. It was, it was developed in-house. Um, it was a great drone. It's, it was definitely, how do you call it, like one of my darlings, let's say, because yeah. I worked on it for three years and sold it everything. And every time it would crash. It was how, like, how many oh. times did it crash? So many times. <laughs> don't, don't tell people. <laughs> uh, and the problem is, is that as soon as it crashed, it would, it would break. Yeah. And I would spend two hours of soldering. And at one point, I was almost at the end of my PhD, going into my fourth year. It's like I need to, because I need to have a swarm of explore, autonomous exploring pocket drones. Yep. And I, I only managed to fly up with two, and I was still a safety pilot, looking at it very scary. Yeah, especially uh, since you had to resolder the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, you definitely don't want them to crash. But then uh, somebody actually told me, like, hey, have you heard about the the crazy fly? Mm -hmm. Because at that point I need to have, have something that, that was able to fly with optical flow, check, flow deck. Um, something that was able to sense distances to the walls, mm -hmm. the multi-ranger check. I was like, oh, they actually cut up with me. Yeah. So actually the last, last year I just killed my darlings and I switched completely to the crazy fly. And I ended up being able to actually make it to my goal. Uh, of my PhD, which I didn't think <laughs> think about it like at the end of my third year. So just like, the right platform allow you to develop much faster. Yes, absolutely. Especially if you're flying, um, if you need to do any research with a swarm, mm -hmm. you don't want all the entire swarm to be soldered together. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, yeah. it's it's just impossible if you're dealing with the problem of the hardware plus the swarms. Yeah, it's 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 completely impossible, let's say. Um, and For the a one person team, yes. Yes. <laughs> and the crazy fly, um, it's well, you know, it can crash so many times. It it will still work. You might need to change the propeller or two, maybe motor or two, yeah. but that's it. It's also accessible enough so that 
if maybe you really damaged it, you can just buy a new one. Yeah, exactly. It's um, you don't want to do that too much, too, yeah, of too course often. No. Of course, you have a budget as a PhD student. Like they're about uh, now currently two hundred forty. The prices will probably appear on the screen yeah. somewhere here. Um, I'm not sure, like with the current uh, inflation and uh, how how the currently go is, but uh, at least it's not a one of an, an, an a bigger robot of like a hundred thousand dollars or something. Yeah, and, where you only have one off. So that's kind of. It makes them this yeah a bit dispens more dispensable, <laughs> it, but yeah, it's a challenge. It's I a still challenge. cared about them each each one of them, but <laughs> <laughs> I think you name them individually. <laughs> yeah, and I think it's also at, at that time just the fact that they were able to f to fly and fly stilly like hover, yeah, and that they were able to react stably to any velocity commands was just yeah that that's all I needed at that point.